sequels always better or the potential to be worse what's up everybody my name's sovereign here revolver gm the network that revolves around you definitely tickle that subscribe button and flick that bell so you know when we have more content coming your way today we have the opportunity to check out devious dungeons 2 by rattalaka games we are almost family with Rattalaka. We've done so many of their games here on the channel. Uh, so definitely check them all out because uh, they've been great. So definitely check them out. But before we get into the review, let's check out the trailer. So the plot for this game, pretty straightforward, ever-changing castles, get out there and quest, yada, yada, yada. Definitely check out our review for Devious Dungeons 1, which is on our channel where I think, if I remember correctly, I gave a 9 out of 10. I think the only issue I had with that game was there was a an enemy that was unpredictable it was always going to get me that hit on me no matter what and it drove me nuts that i couldn't figure out the pattern uh so definitely check that out and that'll give you a good basis to go from here into number two the gameplay itself is quite similar to devious dungeons one um it's that whole idea of going through the like i said ever-changing rooms um and looking for loot the hidden loot slaying monsters for money smashing items like candlesticks or candelabras uh you know crates and and barrels and for all you to get that money to put it into your character through leveling up uh you also get xp that also allows you to level up also you'll get some of the treasure that lets you lets you level up as well but overall you're trying to get stronger and stronger and stronger um as you're getting progressed further in the game uh you do also have the ability to place skill points i guess we would want to call it when you level up you get one point uh you can place it on your strength you can place it on your health or you can place it on critical so you can kind of choose that as you go um with this one when this takes me into gameplay um you know it changes up right so one correct me if i'm wrong they added traps in this game i don't remember there being traps in the last one and if i if there are traps in the last one, I'm so sorry because I don't remember it. But there's definitely traps in this one. I hate the I hate the spears that are over top of things that I'm trying to destroy or enemies I'm trying to kill, and they're just like boom, gets you in the head every time, every time. Um, the spikes in the ground that are timed, they're not bad. I don't mind that, but uh, I do not like that spear in the top. Um, also, they have three classes in this game, so now you have the ability to choose warrior which was like in Devious Dungeons 1. Uh, Rogue, which is a new one, and Mage, which is a new one. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get the opportunity to play as the Mage yet. I kind of want to keep that off to myself. And also, I'll give you guys the opportunity to check that out yourself without there any type of bias from me in any way, shape, or form. So I played two in this uh, in this playthrough. The Warrior, which is from Devious Dungeons 1, which you're going to see on screen. And also the Rogue, which you're also going to see on, stream, uh, on screen. So the Warrior itself is all about that extra health, right? The rogue, lowered health. Um, it has, I think, a higher crit and also the ability to double jump. And then mage is magic, right? So uh, the one thing that I would say that I guess would be nice to have a little bit different um, than what it's currently set is the rogue. Uh, the rogue has double jump, but there's a part of me that feels like the rogue will be better as wall jump. So you'd be able to kind of bounce off of walls. I thought that would be a, a, a better trait for the rogue rather than just having a straight double jump. So that's my opinion though. 
also when you're starting to build your rogue you can very quickly um balance him out to the point where he's similar to the warrior right out of the like within like a not that long and so i'm hoping that you know if they decided to do devious in dungeons 3 cross fingers uh that they make the classes further apart i shouldn't be able to uh you know make two classes merge quickly uh because eventually it's gonna get to the point where i'm gonna have a rogue that basically is like a warrior but now has double jump now i did see weapons that were unique to the rogue like he had a, a dagger that he was throwing so that's kind of cool but i just think maybe a, a, a wall, like a wall jump instead of a double jump might be a better way to go controls very similar to number one um near uh pixel perfect you don't feel like you're getting gypped on it you die because you made the wrong jump you die because you dropped on an enemy um i wish uh I guess the best way of saying is I wish the hitboxes for some of the enemies were a little larger. Um, especially when you're dealing with the rogue and little short daggers. You almost got to get right up to right up to them to kiss them and to stab them. And that's a little too dangerous. Especially there was like you'll see in my play I'm trying to deal with a, a boss as the rogue. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Especially with a little short dagger. It's a little crazy. Um, graphics identical to Devious Dungeons. It's got that retro feel to it. Um, you know, pixelation, that whole, you'll know what I'm talking about. You can see it on screen. Um, audio. Audio is kind of where, I guess, I guess I, I, I would have wanted more. Um, the audio, in my opinion, and I may be wrong, but it has the same feel. It's identical to the first. It almost took, it looks like they took the audio files from number one and brought them into number two, and they're just like, it was good anyways. And I loved it in the first one. It was unique, but being played second and literally just duped over into number two kind of feels like cookie cutter. It almost feels like we're almost playing Devious Dungeons 1, which is a fantastic game, two classes. It's almost like a DLC. It's not a full new game. So I'm hoping that, you know, you know, I cross my fingers that they're gonna do Devious Dungeons 3, that they really take the time to really revamp things whether it be a change in the graphics whether it be you know more precision controls whether it be you know bigger gaps between the characters that make them unique and then also on top of that the audio that you know when you're going to different environments whether you're you know in the town or whether you're in these different areas that they are different because you want that to be different you don't want the people to feel like they're paying for you know a dlc as a full title right but it's still a fantastic game you are not going to play this game and be like oh this is crap no you're still going to love this game but you're going to still want more so because of that you know i was thinking about giving it an 8 out of 10 but because they have the extra classes i'm going to bring it up to 9 out of 10 but i just can't do a 10 out of 10 just because of all these duplications being dragged over from the previous game and just dropped in this game so like i said my overall for this game is 9 out of 10 definitely check it out if you can uh but that's it for me so until next time remember game responsibly give it a buddy see ya